Guys, um, yeah, James here from Team Hoon Hey. Uh, this is my winning Madolce list, and uh, I've had a lot of requests for combo videos and sort of combo tutorials and small lines of play that I was doing through the event that are a lot different than people would probably run. Um, people sort of look at the deck if the full combo and not really look at. Um, bits and pieces that it can do just well enough and that's all a lot of the time that's how i was playing i was playing what can be just enough to get me over the line here um yeah and i'll, I'll just go over it with you yeah so um here's just a basic uh line of play that is available now with the new cards and support um uh the deck in my opinion it was a go second deck really and you'll try and otk and shuffle cards off with um queen tiramisu but i actually think now with the new support it is definitely a go first deck you can you can really set a board up that is quite hard to get rid of and then you can just pr proceed to sort of win from there i'll show you what i'm going to do with these sort of cards I, I just did a random sort of hand and this was sort of it i'll show you a line of play that is available due to the new card so that's including the, the new trap hole um this is now a way to not get niberu'd which is probably the biggest killer in the deck and a way to uh, just set, set up a board that is it's really fine like it's it's good enough you know and i'll show you this i'll just go through it so you're gonna what you're gonna do is normal summon your magellan when you have the cell on this here is gonna set you up to be able to go through and make the Rafflesia. Now what this is going to do is um, yeah, set you up and protect you from Nibiru. Um, so for your first Magellan, you're going to search another Magellan. Your normal summon the Magellan. And this is where you'll get the Petting Cessor. Um, so now what you do is straight off make the Rafflesia. And now you have this protection from from the bureau maybe another hand trap if you're really feeling like that's going to hurt you or stop you um and th now you can do your line of play I, I won't really go over the sort of basic combo because i think everyone knows it i think it's a very it's very linear um but i'll just i'll do a couple lines of play the teacher obviously targeting yourself now what this does is and, and if if you do here at this point if your opponent has anything in the graveyard usually you'd want to just shuffle it back in it almost doesn't matter what it is you just shuffle it back in so they can't ever get those resources back but yeah you would say no uh, so um yeah you want your your medulce in the graveyard and this allows you to go through with your chocolate a la mode to shuffle uh shuffle a card in and that will special summon um a card now you get to this point here actually um this is something to watch out for too and this is something that people sort of forget about it usually doesn't happen this early on if you don't sort of draw sell on um so if you were to get it mid combo you know through this combo your the sell on is mandatory and so is ticket um so if you were to hear say you already had a beast and you're kind of already had a line play you would never summon this message later because it is not it's going to miss timing and that's why people ask why i run the cruff because i run the cruff because you summon the cruff and then bounce the card back generally sell on or ticket to then uh usually special summon again off the ticket because tickets usually one of the last things you'd search so you'd send this ticket here like this because now this is going to extend you so much further um but yeah, this is I, like I'm not really gonna go over the over top of the the combo. We all kind of know it. Um, we all kind of know what's going on here. But the, I'll go over lines of play. A line of play here is to always summon this in defense. Actually, I should have summoned this in defense too. Sorry uh, to stop for lightning storms and stuff. But this here in defense, never gonna get destroyed with battle. 
you're going to get protected um, probably in your next turn. And I'll show you what I'm probably going to end on here. Now you do get a little awkward here because you do have monsters all uh, all up in your grill. Um, gets a little awkward, but it, it's fine. You can just not summon off chocolate other mode when you shuffle this Angelium. So a lot of people asked as well why I don't actually go into the fresh sister here. So you make fresh sister and then sort of extend further. Sister is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Especially you got these and you want to protect them. But at the same time, you kind of don't care. They're not, other than Salon, they're not actually really doing a whole bunch. Um, and you'll often find that's why I'd, instead, instead of going sister here with maybe these Mesa Gelatos... Um, I would make the second teacher and sit on this. So it's just a super, super basic line of play from just opening those two, uh, the Magellan and, and the Salon. So you're protected. It's obviously not as big as like a full combo because you've run out of space and just Rafflesia's kind of taken over, but a, a couple of the monsters that you would have had. But now what you're ending on is effectively recursion with these and advantage gaining with these if they don't get destroyed. Um, you have your teacher for your next turn, or, sorry, for your, this is your card that's going to protect this hoot cake, so, if you protect this hoot cake, and against certain decks, like, Adamant Spaders, they probably aren't going to have a way to get rid of this, ever, like, that turn, they're not going to get rid of it, and what I always say, if the hoot cake can survive, you're probably going to win, because what it, what it lets you do next turn is start all over again, if you keep any of these, it'll start all over again. Rafflesia here is still going to be useful. You're still going to get, uh, you know, a bit of use out of her. To be fair, I actually should, I actually want to be putting a floodgate trap hole and find a way for that because that's even more disruption. And this field here is actually really, really hard to break. A lightning storm, and it might hit the hit and spell and traps, and they'll all go. But you got your promenade. It's going to negate something here. You're in a very, very good spot. A lot of the time. Yeah, it's, it's 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 just a good spot. At the end of the turn, you can always start of their turn. Sorry, you can probably teach her um, and target a hoot cake, and now that's going to give you promenade fuel um, if you're wanting to do that. I probably wouldn't bounce the hoot cake. I mean, you can always bounce, you know, these, but again, it's probably not worth it. Um, but yeah, it's what you're what you're ending on here is is just bloody bloody good. 